how are you ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we have a question here that we are supposed to do and the question has been drawn from 2024 ECZ GCE mathematics paper one and it was uh, it was the first question it was question one so how do you do this question if it were you what could have been your answer Okay, so you pause the video, try to do your answer. Alright, let's do that. For your friends, for your brothers, or yourself, anybody who could be preparing for 2025 GCE exams, Examinations Council of Zambia, please, you may wish to join our online classes, the ones that we offer virtually, regardless of where you are, you can join us, we can teach you as an individual, we can teach you in a group please if you are one of those people you are free to contact us on these lines you are free to contact us on these lines we will be able to get back to you and make arrangements on how we can start teaching you all right thank you very much now let's get to our question this is uh, from index notation and it was a very straightforward question that you do not need so much effort now, if you remember, we always have, uh, in this case, what did we need to do? The first step that we needed to do was uh, to get the cube root of this fraction here. To get the cube root of this fraction, we mean 3 here, 8 over 27, you do this, and then the 2 has to remain on top there. The 2 has to remain on top there. Now, I want to help you understand that this can as well be done in this way, where we look at just the cube root of 8 over the cube root of 27. It's the same way. If you want, you can actually put 2 here, and you also put 2 there. All right? This is the same thing. This is one and the same thing. You shouldn't debate these things now with a friend now here the cube root of 8 the number that you could multiply by itself three times to give you 8 that number is going to be 2 and then you maintain the 2 there the cube root of 27 is going to be 3 the number that you can multiply by itself three times in order to get 27 it is 3 then we have a 2 here okay Finally, you just have to simplify this one. This, this means 2 times 2, you have 4. This means 3 times 3, you have got 9. This is what is going to be your answer. All right? This is what is going to be your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching my video up to the end. Once again, don't forget to share, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Thank you.